Hi, this is Xtile. Today, let's create a mirror effect together using Touch Designer. I've prepared this tutorial to be simple and easy to follow. As you go through the steps with me, you'll get a feel for Touch Designer and can adapt this tutorial to suit your own style, creating something unique. First, select the movie file in Node and import the picture to apply the mirror effect. Then connect the tile node to the movie file in Node. Then go to the tile tab of the parameters panel to activate the reflect X and reflect Y options. This will reflect the image along both axes for a smooth mirror effect. Next, bring in a mirror node and place it between the movie file in node and the tile node. Connect the output of the movie file in node to the input of the mirror node, and then connect the output of the mirror node to the input of the tile node. This setup allows the mirror effect to be applied before the tiling operation. Adjust the parameters in the mirror node, such as the mirror axis and offset, to fine-tune the effect and find the look you want. Connect multiple tile nodes in sequence to create more intricate visuals. Each additional tile node allows you to further repeat, reflect, or offset the image, adding complexity and depth to the composition. Next, connect an LFO node to the mirror node to add dynamic movement to the effect. Set the frequency parameter in the LFO node to 2 to control the speed of the oscillation. Then, attach a math node to the LFO node to further manipulate the output values, allowing for more precise control over the movement. After that, set the from range parameter in the math node to negative 1 and the to range parameter to 360. This remaps the LFO's output values, ensuring the movement aligns with the desired rotation or effect range. Connect a null node to the output of the math node. Then, use the chop reference feature to link the null node's output to a parameter in the mirror node, such as the rotation or offset, to drive the movement dynamically. Experiment with the previously configured options, such as the LFO frequency, math range, or mirror node parameters, to fine-tune the effect and achieve the desired look. Adjusting these values dynamically will help you discover unique and personalized visuals. Let's enhance the mirror effect by adding various images and utilizing the nodes we applied earlier. In this process, we'll take advantage of Touch Designer's node-based workflow to arrange each image symmetrically and create reflective effects. Let's connect a Bloom image filter to Tile 2 to create a glowing effect. The Bloom filter adds a soft glow around the bright areas of the screen, enhancing the vibrancy of the image.
You can fine-tune the bloom effect using the threshold and intensity parameters to control the brightness level where the glow starts and its overall strength. When combined with Tile 2, this effect adds a luminous touch to the mirrored elements, making the visual outcome more striking and captivating. Adjust the U and V values of the overlap parameter in Tile 2 to create a smudging effect. The overlap parameter controls the degree of overlap between tiles, and increasing its value softens the tile boundaries, resulting in a seamless and continuous image. Let's connect the previously created LFO node to the overlap U, V parameters of the tile node to create a new effect. The LFO node generates periodically changing values, and linking it to the overlap U, V parameters allows the degree of overlap between tiles to dynamically change over time. This creates an animated effect where the tiles appear to move organically. Adjust the frequency value of the LFO node to control the speed of the animation. The frequency parameter determines the cycle rate of the values generated by the LFO, and increasing the value speeds up the changes, while decreasing it slows them down. This allows for precise control over the speed of the dynamic effects applied to the overlap U, V parameters. Using a low frequency value results in smooth, slow movements, while a high value creates fast and dynamic movements. This setting is useful for fine-tuning the mood and rhythm of the mirror effect. Adjust the frequency value of the LFO node to control the speed of the animation according to the mood of the video you want to create. By experimenting with different speeds based on the feel of the video, you can see how the mirror effect and tile movements change. Fast movement creates a dynamic atmosphere, while slow speeds give a smooth and calm feeling. These speed adjustments will help you get closer to the final desired result, so try out various settings to find the style you're looking for. Not only photos, but also adding moving videos or clips with scene transitions can lead to more interesting results. This allows each scene to flow naturally, and when combined with the mirror effect, it creates a more dynamic and immersive visual. Try inserting multiple videos and experiment with different possibility.
Until now, we have explored the process of creating a mirror effect using the Touch Designer program. Through using various nodes and adjusting several parameters, you've probably created unique mirror visuals through experimentation. I hope this process has been helpful in your journey of creating various works. If you've learned how to achieve creative and immersive results through Touch Designer's node-based workflow, I believe you'll feel more confident to try out many more creative projects in the future. And you can easily find the files on Patreon. Feel free to try following along first, and if you find any parts difficult, I recommend downloading the files to use as a reference. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.